guys, James with Jetty USA Esprit Tech, and I wanted to show you something new that we've been working on that we're really happy to, uh, to bring to market. Uh, the product is going to be the Esprit Elite SE6. Now this is a serial bus expander. Uh, basically what that means is you will be able to take serial communication from multiple uh, protocols. So whether that's going to be a Futaba S bus or a Grautner Hot uh, or of course our EX bus. Uh, and break that out to PWM outputs for servo. So what that means is uh, in those situations where you are a couple of channels short or a couple of outputs short on a receiver, uh, you'll be able to run EX bus, uh, in the Jetty world that is, uh, from that receiver to the SE6 and then break that out to servos. Uh, it's a very, very small unit. Uh, it is equipped uh, with a plug rather than having leads on it and the reason for that is we have decided to come to market with a couple of options on leads uh, the first of those is going to be let me go ahead and set this packaging down uh, going to have the required plug on one end uh, and what we have done is separated it out so you have your signal lead to go back to the EX bus or your serial bus connection on your receiver and then your power leads are separate so that you can power those servos directly from a battery rather than running from a single port on your receiver. Uh, if you're going to be doing a little lower draw uh, off of the SE6, uh, not any you know big heavy uh, high load servos or anything like that, uh, we also offer it with just a direct uh, JR connection so it will pull power and signal from the serial bus output on the receiver. Um, for today, this is what I'm gonna be using to demonstrate how the device works. Uh, it's very simple. You take the device, uh, the cable that you have selected, it is kind of polarized, so it, you can't plug it in the wrong way. And we'll go ahead and plug that cable in. Uh, makes a very nice, neat, small package, uh, no matter which cable choice you use. Um, it does have six outputs on that, so you have the ability to break out uh, either six servos uh, or in the case with the telemetry, you can break that out to five servos and set that sixth port up for your uh, EX telemetry. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in into our EX bus port uh, and show you a little bit about the operation of the device. Uh, we're using a DS12 transmitter and the Rex 12 assist receiver, uh, just because that's what I happen to have on the desk at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into E1 on the receiver. Pardon me if my big head happens to get in the way for a moment. When you plug that in, I don't know if you noticed, but a light does come on on the SE6 to let you know that it is communicating. Uh, now we're gonna jump into Device Explorer in the transmitter. And we'll go ahead and make sure that the port on our Rex 12 is set up correctly uh, to put out EX bus. So we'll go into configuration, we'll go down to alternative pin and set that up real quick and make sure. Uh, EX bus input, which is not what we want in this case. We're gonna set it up for EX bus. Now we get our flashing light on our SC6, letting us know that it is communicating with the receiver and it has determined which protocol it's communicating in. Uh, that's the other nice thing with this, guys. Uh, if any of you aren't flying Jetty and you're flying uh, Futaba or if you're flying Grautner uh, and you wanna use this device, it will automatically pick up the protocol uh, that's being put through it. So you don't have to go in and select what radio system you're using. Uh, it will read that and automatically convert. Um, so we know that it's getting the data. Uh, currently, all of the channels of the model are being sent through that EX bus stream. Uh, so if you were to plug it in and use it uh, directly uh, as it sits from the transmitter, uh, it is going to match your one through six on your SE6 are gonna match one through six on your servo assignment. Uh, that is not a requirement you do have the ability and we'll show you that here in just a moment but you do have the ability to choose what channels uh, are being broadcast to each of the pins on the SE6 
I'm gonna go ahead and go in with just a standard servo uh, into port one on our SE6 and make sure we match polarity, make sure everybody's happy. So now we've got that set up into our SE6 and as you can probably pick up the sound of that servo operating. Uh, now let's say, for example, you have consumed all 12 servo outputs on your Rex 12A. You have a 14th channel on your receipt, you know, in your build setup. Um, you could very easily, I'm going to go ahead and modify my little model here and we'll go into our servo assignments and let's jump all the way down to 13, let's say. And we'll duplicate elevator on 13. So now if this was my model and I had 13 channels of operation, I've only got a 12 pin receiver, um, I would normally have to go either to a 14 or 18 channel receiver or go up to a central box. Um, if this was a small model and I didn't want to do that, typically you'd be kind of stuck. But in this situation, we can now use the expander channels, run EX bus out to the SE6 and put any of those additional channels uh, on that SE6. The way that you make changes to the SE6 is by going into your Jetty Box emulator in the transmitter. So that would be Menu Applications Jetty Box. Uh, navigating over to the MX and immediately it connects to the SE6. If you go down into the programming, you have the ability to scroll down into each of the channels and select what inputs. So currently, we're running our throttle out of the SE6 on channel one. Uh, all you do to modify that is sim simply change the channel that you're outputting through that pin. And so once, oops, we went one too far. Let me go back up and we'll go down one. There we go. Once you have modified that uh, in the device, then now you see my elevator channel or channel 13 is being broadcast across that pin one makes it very usable in expanding a small receiver to suit a little bit larger products or projects uh, the other nice thing with it uh, that i quickly bypassed here in the programming is you have the ability like i mentioned to change data port six on the se6 uh, between servo output or sensor ex data Nice thing is, is, let's say you were putting your SE6s out in the wing um, and you've got a big complicated wing with a couple of split flaps, a couple of ailerons, and you want to put an air pressure sensor or an airspeed sensor out in the wing. Uh, rather than running connectors and the pitot tube leads and everything back through the wing into the fuselage, you could simply run an SE6 in the wing, plug all of your servos into that SE6, and then plug that sensor into port six of the SE6 containing all of the mess of that airspeed sensor, the pitot and the tubes, the sensor itself and its leads. All of that would be contained to the wing. Your connection at the wing to fuselage would be the single lead for your SE6. Uh, really happy to share this with you guys. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with out there. Um, it's one of those things I know we've been trying to bring to market for a long time. Uh, we're real, just really happy we were able to do that. If you guys have any questions or want to see anything else about this or any of the other products, definitely drop by the website at jettymodel.com or espritech.com. Uh, and if you have any questions beyond that, reach out to us via email or phone. We'd be glad to help you guys out. You have a great day.